is the polymers lab. So here I'm starting on um, the preparation of the water glass. So inside this beaker here that you can see stirring is also heating. Um, I have about six grams of sodium metasilicate. metasilicate. There are about, about six grams of sodium metasilicate. And then I have in a separate container here, I have about three grams of silica gel. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm heating this water to about a boil, and then I'm gonna slowly over time add the silica gel to it. Um, so it does take a good while for the silica gel to dissolve in the water. So uh, I'm, going, I'm going ahead and starting this process and I will just keep monitoring it um, as time goes on. If I need to add a little bit more water, I will. I'll just slowly add that silica gel. Uh, I have some distilled water ready uh, so that I can just pour it into my beaker um, if I start to see that level going down. So it's been a little while. I'm still letting this um, water glass preparation happen. Um, so not quite all of the silica gel has dissolved. So we're still going to um, heat this up while we do part B. Um, but I wanted to, I do want to note that um, while I've been heating up this, I have added a little bit of water um, just to make sure that it stays at about a um, 50 milliliter volume here. I've also, when I see that the um, little pieces of the silica gel are kind of stuck to the sides. I kind of went in just to make sure, just kind of move those around. Um, you could also do this by kind of making that um, stirring rod kind of move around. The beaker isn't too hot, it's pretty warm now um, since we are boiling that water um, because it kind of gets stuck around the sides. Um, so just periodically, I kind of move that silica gel around so that it will stir up and dissolve in our water. Um, so in a few minutes, I will take that off the heat uh, for part C, um, but I want to make sure that as much of that silica gel dissolves as possible before we move on um, to part C. So that is the preparation of the water glass. Link this um, this polyvinyl alcohol, uh, and so so we, again we are moving on to part B. Um, so here I'm not using the silica gel anymore or the sodium metasilicate. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Here I'm using my sodium borate decahydrate. So I measured out about 0.25 grams of that, and then I put it in my little 50 milliliter beaker with about five milliliters of distilled water. Um, so I'm gonna set that on the corner of my hot plate um, to dissolve that. And then I'm going to add that to about 20, uh, 25 milliliters of the 5% polyvinyl alcohol. So I have that here. I've measured it out in my graduated cylinder and the procedure says to put that in a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. Uh, you know, 100 milliliter beaker. So I have that there. So now we're just waiting for that sodium um, borate decahydrate to dissolve and then we're gonna add that into this beaker here. So I have my stirring rod ready. I'm also gonna put gloves on because we're gonna take it out of the beaker and kind of handle it to look at that um, polymer a little closer, this cross-link polymer. Okay, so all of that sodium borate has dissolved. I'm just gonna let it cool for a minute. Um, and then I think I'm also going to let our water glass cool. It looks like it's pretty dissolved. Um, I'm not sure that any more of that silica gel is going to dissolve um, into that water. I'm gonna check to make sure that the volume is still about 50, and then I'm gonna take it off the hot plate to cool, and then we'll use it again in part C. Okay, so our sodium borate decahydrate has cooled off a little bit, so I dissolved it by heating it in a little water. And then the procedure says to, while constantly stirring with a watch or with a stirring rod, so I have that ready, uh, I'm going to add the sodium borate to the solution of polyvinyl alcohol. Uh, and then we want to note any viscosity changes that we see. 
Okay, so here we have two pretty, um, two solutions. Um, they move pretty well. They're not like, they don't seem thick or anything. They seem like a normal solution. Um, so I wanna stir this. This is my Deca uh, sodium borate decahydrate, and this is the polyvinyl alcohol. Okay, immediately when I started pouring, uh, this is gonna be kind of hard to see on a video, um, I can tell that it's kind of getting thick in there. So if I pull that up, you can see that, I think you should be able to see it as well. Okay, so we're just gonna keep stirring this. So we're gonna stir for a couple of minutes and then we're going to roll um, this polymer here that we've made um, that we've cross-linked um, into a ball. And then there's some measurements that we're going to make. So it's definitely become a lot more gelatinous. Um, the viscosity has gone up. It's like a, you can see, I can pull up a whole piece of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to estimate the di once I make this into a sphere, we're going to estimate the diameter of this sphere once it's made, and then we'll also take the mass um, of that. There should be places in your report sheet to record those values. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to take this out of my beaker, and then I'm going to kind of ball it up so that we can get the diameter, and then we'll take it and put it on a pre-mast weigh boat, um, and then we'll take the mass of this. Um, once we've done that, I'm just gonna leave it on the sheet of paper, and we'll come back in a few minutes to see what happens. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this out. So I'm just gonna try to get all of that out of the beaker, and then I will sticks to your gloves a lot. Kinda make this into a ball. Okay, so some did stick to my glove, but I'm pretty happy with this um, sphere-ish shape that I have made. I'm trying to get the rest of it, some more of it stuck to it. Okay, so I have that sphere and then I'm going to take um, my ruler and measure the diameter of this. So we'll also take the mass of this. So we're gonna need to get the mass of our weighing dish by itself, so first I'm gonna zero the balance and put this weighing dish on it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and zero that mass out so that we're just getting the mass of our polymer ball here. Okay, so I'm gonna zero that. So the mass of our polymer here is 15.717 grams. And then I'm just gonna leave it in this weigh boat and we'll come back and see what happens to it in a few minutes. So we'll just leave that um, to do whatever it does while we do part C. So I have got my um, water glass cooled. I have my water glass cooled and then uh, so we're gonna do part C. Part C uses the water glass, we made it in part A. Uh, we're moving on to part C here. Um, in part C, we are making a silicate chain, um, or silicone. Um, so we have let that cool to about room temperature. Okay, so I've also decanted it into another beaker. Um, so I just got rid of any of that undissolved um, silica gel that we still have left. Uh, and to this, we're going to add five milliliters of 95% ethanol. 
and then we're going to stir with a stirring rod until it becomes a solid again. Uh, then we're going to try to make a ball and see its properties as well. Um, so I'm gonna measure out five milliliters of ethanol. So I have a bottle of ethanol and a graduated cylinder ready. Uh, I'm gonna grab some more gloves and then we'll make this solid. So I'm measuring out my five milliliters of ethanol. I'm gonna add it to my beaker and stir. Okay, so immediately when we started, when we added that um, ethanol to it, it made something solid in there. Okay, so you can see that it, it did turn white as well. Um, so we're gonna just stir this a little bit more and then I'll pull that silicone out of the beaker. And we're going to kind of do the same thing. I'm gonna make it into a ball. We'll record the diameter of that. And then there's some other test about this. Um, that you want to do. So once we take it out of here, we'll kind of squeeze it between some paper towels to get some of that moisture out. And then we'll make it into a ball, get the diameter, and we're going to see if this one bounces. Then I'm going to put this in some paper towel and kind of squeeze it dry a little bit, get some of that moisture out. There's still a lot of moisture coming out of it, so I'm gonna put it in my paper towels again. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it into a sphere, a ball here. So I have that sphere. We're gonna take the uh, diameter of that. So now the mass of our polymer, the silicone silicate um, chain here that we've made is 8.609 grams, 8.609 grams. And now we're going to see what happens when we drop it on a piece of paper onto our hard desk surface. Okay, so we have the mass of our, of our um, silicone here, and then we want to drop the polymer on a piece of paper um, on a hard surface and make observations. So here is just a couple inches off the table. And that bounced all the way off the table. So this is about uh, a foot and a half off the table. A little higher. So this is similar to a bouncy ball. So we wanna kinda think about, so we're gonna compare that to our um, uh, linked, cross-linked uh, polymer that we have with the polyvinyl alcohol. Um, so here is that. You can see that when we took the mass of it, it was kind of a sphere. It was kind of sticking to everything, especially my gloves, um, but it was a sphere. And now it's been about, about 10 minutes. It's definitely flattened out. So we could not really, bounce this. This is not a bouncy ball. Um, it's kind of like a, just like a gel type uh, feeling. It's like a rubbery. Um, you could make it into a ball again, but again, it would just kind of fall out. It wouldn't hold its shape um, the way that our um, silicone um, does. So it does bounce a little bit, but if you let it sit there, it's going to kind of flatten back out. And this is our other polymer here. Something to note about this lab is that it is very, very important that you clean all your glassware very well. So um, you should be able to see a lot of this glassware has a lot of residue in it. So you do wanna make sure that you take the time to clean it and make sure that you do clean it so that it is clean and it doesn't have any um, leftover residue from the silica gel or the polymers 
or anything like that. So please make sure that you take the time to always clean your glassware. Uh, so there's always gonna be soap. You wanna make sure that you put soap in it, you brush it out, and you clean it until it is actually clean before you leave it on a drying rack um, to dry before it goes, before it's put away. Also, you would wanna wipe down our tabletop because there's um, a little bit of spillage when I've been moving around, so I'll clean that up as well. I'm also gonna put our polymers into a waste container um, so they're not gonna go into the trash.